happen. Fine. So, what is farming income? So, in this particular case, uh, we are looking at uh, any activity to do with the animal husbandry, poultry, crop production, in that of that nature. So, when you are running business and you are earning income in that manner, that needs to be taxed. Okay, that needs to be taxed. Now, we, from where, where we are coming from, uh, you realize that um, we have learned how to make adjustments to the income reported in the income statement, where we look at uh, which expenses are allowable and those expenses which are not allowable. Equally, we look at which income is supposed to be taxed and which income is not supposed to be taxed. Therefore, we end up with the tax adjusted profit. Tax adjusted profit. Now, the same applies to farming income. The same rules will apply when you are trying to come for or deter, determine the tax adjusted profit. The same rules, the same basic rules will apply. But here we want to add another item to that. We are going to add another item to that, and that will be in form of capital allowances. So we are going to start now looking at uh, farming income for an individual, where it involves not a company, but an individual. So we are going to see how we deal with that. Now, in dealing with this particular component of uh, capital allowances relating to farming income, uh, I should be quick to inform you that uh, there are a number of uh, uh, capital allowances that can be claimed. So I can list them as follows. We have uh, implements uh, plant and machinery Okay, that's what we have known all along under implements, plant and machinery. We have been dealing with that. Now, under implements, plant and machinery, you should know that uh, there could be categories. Okay, categories. Uh, I can put them in this manner to say uh, where you have those implements, plant and machinery directly connected to farming activity directly um, connected to farming activity uh, if you're looking at for instance um, the machinery of a tractor okay you are talking about maybe a planter the implement uh, you talk about the claiming a capital allowance capital allowance of 100% 100% okay then i have another category which i can say those which are indirectly connected to farming activity farming activity okay so these uh, will claim uh, capital allowance as follows uh, for instance these are um, implement plant and machine cover things like uh, computers if you are looking at computers in an office uh, an office for an agriculture related business you are talking about furniture which is used in an office at this particular uh, uh, agriculture related office and uh, these are going to attract capital allowance capital allowance uh, of 25 percent 25 percent like before okay 25 percent like before then we also have uh, falling off from uh, uh, this particular uh, plant and machinery uh, where you have uh, uh, things like uh, um, non-commercial vehicle non-commercial vehicle 
Like before non-commercial vehicles, the capital allowances uh, claimable will be at the rate of um, 20%. 20% is what will be claimable. Okay? So we have these, okay? We have these uh, uh, rates for capital allowances. Now, uh, what we're going to look at further uh, additional capital allowances other than these. So we have uh, additional capital allowances other than these. For instance, we have uh, farm works. Farm works. Under farm works, we are looking at uh, items like um, bands constructed. Okay, bands constructed. No bands, these are what are used for uh, maybe keeping storage of grain. Okay, so those construction of such structures, they fall under farm works. They fall under farm works. So we look at uh, things like uh, bands. Okay, we look at things like um, fencing of farm. We look at things like um, um, construction of dwelling houses. Dwelling houses, dwellings, okay. Um, these will also attract capital allowance, capital allowances at hundred percent okay we have hundred percent capital allowances these are under farm works so now uh, we also have um, others like um, uh, farm improvement so no, sorry these are farm improvements not farm works these are farm improvements what I've mentioned are farm improvements. Improvements. Okay. Then we also have farm works. Okay. Farm works. Farm works. When you hear of farm works, uh, what should come to your mind is uh, the following uh, things like uh, um, uh, digging of bo boho. Okay, this will be under the category of uh, farm works. We also have digging of well. Okay, all this. We also have uh, course on aerial surveys. All these are farm works. Uh, also, the costing card on diverging, uh, uh, making diversions to prevent soil erosion, all those will be farm works. Now, these farm works will also attract capital allowances, capital allowances of 100%. Um, to attract capital allowances of 100%. Okay, um, then we also have uh, another category. This is to do with um, development allowance. Development allowance. Okay, development allowance will attract capital allowance of uh, ten percent. Capital allowance of. Uh, 10%. So these are the rates that you need to be familiar with. Uh, as I've said, to start with, you have um, farm improvements here. You also going to have uh, farm works, and then finally you have uh, development allowance. So these are the rates that you should be familiar with, or you will be confronted with when you're dealing with capital allowance under farming. Okay, so that's what we, we have. Okay, that's what we have 
in terms of capital allowances. Now, when it comes to uh, dealing with uh, farm dwellings, farm dwellings, according to the Income Tax Act, okay, the Income Tax Act, what you should remember is that uh, farm dwellings, uh, um, a qualifying expenditure is restricted. The qualifying expenditure is restricted to what? It is restricted to 20,000 kwacha. Meaning that even if you have uh, the, incurred the cost of say uh, 47,000 on the uh, construction of farm dwelling or dwelling houses, what will be used to calculate the capital allowance of 100% will be restricted to 20,000 kwacha for the purpose of calculating capital allowances. Will be restricted to 20,000 kwacha for the purpose of calculating capital allowances. So that's what I'm trying to uh, tell you. That's what I'm trying to advise you. So that's what we need to look at when dealing with him. Uh, these particular kinds of uh, capital lands that are applicable in this particular case. Okay, so to help us understand how we can apply this or we can uh, calculate this particular or apply this knowledge, uh, we are going to look at a simple question. We shall look at a simple question. Okay, let's look at the simple question. So, looks like look at an example. Example. Okay. Uh, let's say that um, you have a Mr. Kunda. You have a Mr. Kunda. Okay. We have a Mr. Kunda with us. Okay. So the question follows uh, Mr. Kunda. look at the question see if we can come up with a question to use quickly so that uh, we see how best we can use it in this particular case we see how best we can use it in this particular case so a question on uh, a farming income a question on farming income let's say we have mr kunda mr Kunda is a farmer. The farmer who um, whose uh, capital expenditure, whose capital expenditure. on his farming business is as follows okay is as follows so we have for instance um, first one look at the amount amount okay then we we'll see um, in this particular taxi. Let's say he bought he bought um, he bought a Toyota Hilux. Okay, Toyota Hilux. And let's say uh, the amount is 90,000 kwacha. Okay. And then followed by, he also constructed a farm dwelling. For use. 
by an employee okay the cost is uh, say uh, twenty thousand Uh, let's also proceed to say he bought a tractor he bought a tractor uh, this tractor cost let's say um, 78,000 this tractor cost 78,000 uh, he also uh, bought furniture furniture bought furniture um, in this particular case with this furniture uh, let me specify to say bought furniture for use in the farm office for use in the farm office okay so the cost of this furniture let's say it is 25,000 25,000 what else did he buy let's assume he also spent money on stamping expenditure on stamping expenditure on stamping okay so uh, that amounts let's say to 11,000 11,000 kwacha okay let's proceed we say also uh, he spent money on digging a well digging a well Let's say at a cost of uh, three thousand kwacha. Uh, we also look at uh, he spent money on fencing the farm. Fencing the farm, and that is uh, that cost uh, twenty-two thousand kwacha. Okay. Okay. So that's what uh, are the expenditures for Mr. Kunda on this farm of his. Uh, let's assume that uh, the, the tax adjusted profit, the tax adjusted profit before um, deducting capital allowances, deducting capital allowances for tax year 2023 amounted to uh, let's suppose it's 509,000 kwacha 509,000 kwacha that is a tax adjusted a tax adjusted profit tax adjusted profit okay now what are we required to uh, do so they say required under that we have a um, calculate the final tax table final tax table farming profit chargeable on Mr. Kunda for the tax year 
2023. Okay. The next uh, task we have is calculate the tax liability. for Mr. Kunda for the charge year 2023. So these are the two tasks that we have before us. Uh, let's see how we tackle this particular simple example uh, in our before us so that we understand what is going on in this particular case. So we see how we tackle this particular example so that we know, we understand what is supposed to be done in this particular case. So how do we proceed that one? So for the first one, uh, take note that uh, uh, we have already been given 509,000, meaning uh, the adjusted profit. We have taken care of uh, disallowed expense and allowable expenses, uh, disallowed income and allowable expense, income for tax payment to arrive at 509,000. That's why it is known or called as tax adjusted profit before capital allowances. Now, there's another uh, uh, deduction that needs to be taken on board. These are capital allowances. No wonder we have been given all these expenditures. So we need to remember these particular rates, okay, to apply them on this one, okay? So that's what we are going to be doing in this particular case. That's what we are going to be going, doing in this particular case. So let's look at uh, the first one. The first requirement is to get the final tax taxable farming profit chargeable on Mr. Kunda for the tax year 2023. To get this one, we need to adjust this 509,000 with capital allowances, meaning that we are going to do some working. We are going to do some working for us to uh, be able to generate what is the capital allowance for 2023. So let me just say workings. Workings. Okay, definitely you we'll number the workings. So we're going to look at this one. Okay, let's say whatever, maybe it's working number two or whatever, but uh, look at which workings are only capital allowances. Okay. So workings only capital allowances. That's our interest there. So we look at that. What do we start with? We look at um, this and prepare the schedule for workings. Or we prepare the schedule for workings. So under that, what do we have? We have um, value. Okay. And we also have uh, capital allowances. Allowances. Okay. So let's do it this way. I push these things aside. I also push this one. Okay, that's fine. Then we look at uh, the quatcha. So I push these under the same columns. Okay, put that one under this column as well. Okay, okay. Fine, okay. So these are capital allowances for charge year, charge year, uh, 
2023 okay charge year 2023 that's what we are working on we are working on capital for charge year 2023 so the first thing we look at is we find that there is a toyota hilux double car toyota hilux i didn't put this is toyota hilux uh, it's a double cab Okay, so Dallas double cab. Okay, so this is a commercial vehicle. Okay, this is a commercial vehicle. It falls under implements, plant, and machinery, but it's not directly connected to farming activity like uh, tilling the land. Okay, it's not directly connected uh, to farming activity like tilling the land. So, what do we do? it will be claimed at 25 percent so that's what we do so we go back this particular schedule and we indicate this the uh, uh, toyota hilux okay toyota hilux okay so toyota hilux uh, what do we have? We have the purchase cost. And the value is for the total house we have 90,000. Okay, 90,000. We calculate wear and tear. allowance this will be at 25 percent of the original cost that will give you uh, 22,500 25 percent uh, so which is uh, the claimable there's no divided use so 22,500 so that's the claimable capital allowance okay so we put this one uh, to write it down write it down so that we have income tax value income tax value carried forward to the next year which will give us um, should be six 68 68 8500 the math is correct that is uh, nine no, 67 the seven thousand five hundred we have 500 there we have nine we have seven we have eight yes yeah correct so that is what we're going to see there okay so you can underline this one and this one also underline it so that we see that uh, this is what is being carried forward then we underline this one as well and also board it maybe expand the font okay so that type of thing okay so that's what we have in this particular case we move on to look at the next one the next one is construction of farm dwelling. So this one is, uh, as I said, this is a farm improvement. We'll come back to it. We have a tractor. So we can start looking at the tractor. Tractor. Okay, tractor. Go into that. The tractor. Uh, remember, we proceed again looking at... Uh, this is the purchase cost is the first one to look at. Okay, so I know this one, sorry. Uh, purchase cost. Cost. What's the purchase cost of the tractor? We see there it is uh, uh, 78,000. A tractor costs seventy-eight thousand. 
so you have 78,000 subjected to wear and tear allowance wear and tear allowance the wear and tear allowance at this one it is directly connected to the under implement planter machine and directly connected to the farming activity so it will be at 100 percent 100 percent so if it's at 100 percent then we claim the entire figure Eight thousand. Claim the entire figure. That is eight thousand. Okay, so the whole lot of eight thousand is claimable. Okay. Okay. So this one means that this one finishes. There's no more claim here. So we move on to the next one. The next one is in form of uh, um, furniture, boat furniture. So we have furniture. Okay, furniture. And under furniture, we have just bought it, so purchase cost. And the value for this one is. Um, the value for furniture we got is 25,000. 25,000. So 25,000 we subject to wear and tear allowance. Okay. Wear and tear allowance. This is a uh, furniture not direct connected to uh, the cultivation of land or uh, animal husbandry or crop production. So you attract a wear and tear allowance at 25%. Okay, 25%. That will give you uh, 6,250, if I'm not mistaken. 6,250. Okay, again, you claim all of it. 250. Okay, that's what you claim. All of it. Okay, then you also have uh, uh, so meaning that you have here uh, written down value, written down value, written down value, income tax value, income tax value carried forward. carried forward and the value is um, 18,750 18,750 okay so that is that okay so uh, we add these that it comes up we have claimed that so now what do we have we uh, are done with these usual uh, uh, capital allowances. We go look at the other capital allowances, which are two types, uh, farm uh, improvements and farm works. So let me just look at this one. We say farm improvements. Improvements. Farm improvements. Under the farm improvements, what do we have? Uh, we have two items. So as I said, uh, when you look at farm improvements, we are talking about um, basically the construction or making of uh, structures on the farm. So you're talking about uh, farm improvements can be talking about construction of barns, construction of piggery, construction of chicken run, such kind of things. So they constitute farming, including construction of uh, dwellings, okay, so farm improvements. So what we identify here as farm improvements, we have where it says construction farm dwelling, okay, so we have one farm dwelling.
farm dwellings. Uh, farm dwellings, uh, what is the uh, value there? Uh, farm dwelling, we have uh, 28,000. Now, the Income Tax Act uh, does restrict uh, what is uh, supposed to be qualifying cost for capital allowance under farm dwelling. It restricts it to 20,000 kwacha. It restricts it to 20,000 kwacha. So, despite us having 28,000, we can only claim 100% of 20,000. So, we can say farm dwelling, okay, for uh, employee. Okay. Then you can say restricted so that uh, everyone is reminded that uh, the figure was more than that, but it restricted. So under value, we put 20,000. We put 20,000. Okay, that's what we have. Then wear and tear allowance. Wear and tear allowance, it will be wear and tear allowance, it will be at 100%, at 100%, okay, 100%, okay, that's what it is, so 100% of 20,000 will be still 20,000, okay, so we claim all of it, under capital allowance, we have 20,000. We have 20,000. Okay. We have the 20,000. Okay. We have 20,000. So means that that closes. Uh, we also have, uh, let me just put this so that it has closed. Okay. Uh, we also have under uh, farm improvements, what other construction was done, we've seen that um, there's fencing of farm. Fencing of farm. So we put fencing... Of farm, okay. The cost is the cost is uh, fencing of farm is twenty two thousand twenty two thousand kwacha, okay. So wear and tear allowance allowance. at 100% as well, 100%, so means that we claim all of it, claim all of it, so all of it is claimed, so 22,000, okay, so that is farm improvements, then we also have farm works. We also have farm works. So farm works. Uh, maybe I I just got another slide. Farm works. Farm works. Okay. Under farm works. We're going to have um, uh, one the the expenditure on stamping, stamping, you are not constructing, you are just stamping, under the value, the figure is uh, 11,000. That's the cost in card. Okay, wear and tear allowance.
okay this is at 100 percent as well meaning that you claim all of it all of it you claim all of it okay then you also have uh, under farm works we have digging of well digging of well okay the cost is um, three thousand okay we until allowance allowance at hundred percent okay we're going to get all of it hundred percent so what is claimable is three thousand okay so that's what we have um, we have uh, two items under farm improvement and two items under farm works okay that's how it is two items under farm improvement two items under farm works okay that's what we have okay so now we have dealt with all the items uh, we needed to look at all that is needed is add up the capital allowances from the start so we're going to have total capital allowances total capital allowances what are doing total capital allowances for charge year 2023 so you get all of it when you add you're going to get from the top the first capital allowance you calculated uh, which is um, Okay, we started by looking at farm improvements. We also looked at uh, farm works. We also looked at um, um, uh, capital allowance that is implements plant and machinery. Okay, so I can do it this way. So this was the question. Farm improvements. Okay, this is farm works. Okay, so we started with um, uh, calculating these capital allowances, relating to implements, plant, and machinery. We came to farm improvements. We came to farm works. We came to finally farm works. Okay, so what is supposed to be done is now add up the values starting from uh, this 22,500 then 78,000 then 6,250 to the next we have 20,000 then 22,000 the next we have 11,000 they have 3,000 when you add those figures when you add all those figures you are going to have 162,750 Okay, that is the total of capital allowance during this particular charge year 2023. That's the total. So, add up that. That's the total. Okay, so that is uh, uh, answering to the first part. The first part, which is part A. Calculate the the capital allowances uh, 
taxable farming profit, capital, calculate the final taxable farming profit chargeable to Mr. Kunda, tax year 2023. So we need that working so that we can go and answer this part. So that's what I'm going to show you now. The next, the part A. Since now we are armed with the figure we are looking for, we can get the, uh, this one, uh, which is, um, com we say computation of uh, tax adjusted profit. after after capital allowances okay so that's what we are going to do so here like before we have uh, the value We have the value, show this one, and then we have um, tax adjusted uh, farming profit before capital allowances. That's what we are given in this particular question and what is given is 509,000 509,000 that's what we are given in the question so now that we have uh, worked out the capital answer we say less capital allowances So in the exam, you normally indicate which kind of working you can find that particular computation. So let's say this is working number one. Let's assume that is working number one. We go and fish out the value which we calculated as 162,750. 162,750 as the amount to be deducted from there amount to be deducted from there we, we remove it from there what do we get we have tax adjusted farming profit after capital allowances okay so that's what the, we are going to have. What figure is this? We're going to have uh, 346,250. Okay. So that's what we're going to end up with after removing the figure for capital allowances. We end up with this particular figure to answer part A. Okay? That is part A. So we move on to look at uh, calculation of part B. Okay? Calculation of part B. Calculation of part B. What does part B require us to do? Come to this one. Part B asks us to calculate the tax liability for Mr. Kunda for the charge year 2023. So that's what we are going to do. Okay. So computation. Of tax liability. For charge year. 2023 for Mr. Kunda. Mr. Mr. Kunda. 
okay for mr kumi so what do we have we have Mr. Kunda, so we are going to show uh, that we have um, uh, taxable income and also going to show that we have income tax. income and income tax okay so there we are we have this one and also this one okay so what is the taxable income is this tax adjusted tax adjusted farming profit after capital allowances okay which we picked as in we look at this particular one because 346 this 346 let me just look at that that is uh, Six. That is nine. This is uh, nine. Yes, that is. Yes. What is uh, my Casio? Let me just confirm this particular figure. So we have uh, five zero nine thousand minus 162,750 okay we end up 346,250 correct okay I was doubting my figure but that's the one so we pick that one that is uh, we have 346,000 uh, 250 kwacha okay that's a taxable income then look at income tax okay income tax uh, the first uh, slice this is an individual the first slice of income is uh, tax at zero percent so there is tax free income of Fifty seven thousand six hundred at zero percent. So we relate to it this way. So we have fifty seven thousand six hundred. We tax at zero percent means that the tax paid is zero quarter. Okay. So we move to the next one. That means now, under um, when you are dealing with the family income, uh, after removing the tax free income or dealing with the tax free income, whatever remains is taxed at 10 percent. Whatever remains is taxed at 10 percent. That much you should know. So, meaning that we can equally say the balance, which is the balance here. Okay, so if I get back to my Casio. Okay, look at my Casio. Look at my Casio here. Or oh, my calculator. Okay. So we have uh, 346,250. Okay. Remove. Um, remove. Um, Fifty seven thousand six hundred. What do we get? We get two eighty eight. Two eighty eight six fifty. We have two eighty eight six fifty. 
of 288-6288-650. So that's what you remain with after you have deducted uh, 57,600. So what do we do with that one? Means that now the next one is just to look at the balance. Balance, uh, which is uh, 288. 650 which is taxed at 10% tax at 10% so we tax this one at 288 288 650 okay so we remove this one Meaning, when you calculate the tax, you are going to have only 28,000, 28,865, 865, that's the tax. So, meanwhile, this one has closed. So, this one has closed, meaning that you are going to have uh, only to find what is the total tax so we have we have total tax liability for charge year 2023 so meaning in this particular case we have only two values, 0 and 28. When you add, you still have 28,865. So that is the tax which uh, this Mr. Kunda is supposed to be liable to pay for charge year 2023. Okay. So this is what I was uh, geared to show you. Uh, I hope you have followed um, uh, these calculations, simple calculations. I hope you have really followed them. Okay, any questions if you have? Any questions? Okay, so it seems that you have well understood these particular calculations. Uh, this is what we have to show for farming income, uh, taxing an individual involving capital allowances. So if you have any questions, please drop me uh, a line or uh, give me a comment so that uh, maybe attend to your, your issue uh, if you feel so. Otherwise, this is where we end our uh, presentation for today relating to farming income involving an individual and uh, looking at how do we treat capital allowances okay so that's what we have for today thank you for listening please uh tune in the next and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and like my video and i also would like to ap I would appreciate 